Well, custom-made living body parts that have been 3D printed, they're marking major advancements for regenerative medicine and those patients that need them. Now, we're talking about sections of bone, muscle, and cartilage all function normally when they were implanted in animals. Now, the med this medical marvel, it was actually published in the Nature Biotechn Biotechnology magazine. It means that there's renewed hope for using living tissue to repair a human body. Now, the team responsible for this, Nick, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, they actually developed this new technique of 3D printing. Um, it's sponge-like, it's a tissue riddled with something called a microchannel, and um, it allows nutrients to penetrate the cells Originally, the cells, they couldn't keep them alive, mm -hmm. but uh, this biodegradable plastic, they're actually, they've engineered the plastic and they put the sponge-like water gel material inside of it. Um, the water-based gel, it actually contains the cells, it encourages them to grow, and the, the bioplastic disintegrates in the body over time, and the organ is, in essence, regenerated. So, amazing technology. What do you make of this? It's genius, and, and yes. it's so simple in design. And, and at first, you're like, well, why do they need the 3D printing part, right? Why don't they just like kind of sculpt these ears out of the thing? But but actually that spongy material, a mold, you mean. exactly the molecules that they injected have to be in like this perfect little like lattice sequence, and like that's the only way it'll work in order to keep these molecules like to survive and uh, stay without a host for so long. I think it's amazing. I think it's really interesting, and, and perhaps like the most cool part about this whole thing is the fact that a lot of experts are saying like this could be a re reality, like this is a huge breakthrough here. 10 years here. we're gonna be doing yeah, this. In like less than a decade, that is so cool to me. Right, me, me as well. So this idea of placing these individual human cells in a precise pattern as you, as you mentioned, something called a lattice pattern, very complex and that's why you need the 3D printing. The Wake Forest Center, two years ago, they were, they were doing uh, transplanted vaginas, women who had experienced um, either vaginal cancer, who'd been born without a vagina, they were able to actually reconstruct it, but the issue was keeping cells alive, and for this new medical technology to advance to such a degree where these new cells can actually regenerate, feed themselves with living protein, this is this is amazing. This is what one uh, professor who's a surgeon had to say about this at the College of London. Given the scale of this breakthrough, progress in other fields, the resources available that research, researchers at Wake Forest and the imperatives for human health, I think it will be less than a decade before surgeons like me are trialing customized printed organs and tissues. I can't wait. Neither can we, sir. We share your sentiment. The fact that they're successfully doing this, uh, this article highlights um, the fact that it's called a golden goose. We're talking about complex cells being able to regenerate themselves, and this marks a new hallmark in medical technology. People who need these organs and tissues, it's now just around the corner.